All right, here we go. JRA, just riding along. This is the city bike edition. That's how easy it is to get a city bike. You just walk up and jump on it. This one happens to be pedal assist. It's, it's an e-bike version. And uh, right now we're in Brooklyn. And it just snowed last night. And these bikes are great for when it just snowed. You don't get any salt or grime on your bike. And it has really nice fenders, so uh, you don't get it on your clothes or your pants or your shoes or your face or your neck or your back or your bit bit a dip bit a dip. You know what I mean? And the bike is heavy, so it kind of just smashes right through the snow. It's still a little sketchy, but because the bike is heavier, it's not as crazy when you hit the snow patches. And uh, gives you a little more confidence. I'm not sure what the range is on this bike, but my plan right now is basically to film all the way into the city and then uh, see where we go from there. Here, let's sneak in here. There's a lot of traffic. I'm gonna go into the city, just the JRA. It's been a minute since I've done one of these and like I said in the first few videos, I wanted to make sure that I try to do these on different bikes all the time. And I rode one of these into uh, my studio earlier and I was like, man, it would be a good bike to do a JRA on. It would be a lot better if there was a snowstorm, but this is, this is just as good, I guess. Less things to fly on the lens this way, right? So we're on Myrtle and we're riding west towards Manhattan. We're most likely going to ride over the Brooklyn Bridge. Do a Brooklyn Bridge ride. Do Lower Manhattan. Do Broadway to Battery Park. And then we'll go up, what is it, Church? which turns into 6th. We'll go up 6th. And then uh, cut over either on uh, 34th or 42nd and then ride back down. So that's the plan today. You can hear the bike, the motor whining a little bit. It only goes if you pedal. You can't push a button, it's not like a throttle. The brakes work really well on the bike. And a little brake check for you right there. Should we just take Myrtle all the way in? Fuck it, let's just take Myrtle all the way in. into downtown Brooklyn. If you're into these kind of videos, go ahead and hit the uh, thumbs up and uh, drop me a comment and let me know why you like these. I find them to be a relaxing version of a, it's kind of a mix between a pre-recorded YouTube video and a live stream. That's how I feel these are, unedited. 
just one long take. I will note that the colder temperatures will affect the battery life on the GoPro, so I brought an extra just in case. So there might be a quick interruption when the GoPro battery dies, but I have a, a spare just in case. What is this thing? What is this thing? Barkow the workhorse. To my right is uh, Fort Greene. Or that's my left. <laughs> I'm still I'm still learning what left and right means. Also, what green and red means. Fort Greene looks awesome with the snow. This is where a lot of people come from Brooklyn, uh, and they bring their snowboards or or their um, sleds and they go down because there's a bunch of stairs that get covered with snow. Woo. The cost on these bikes are uh, it's, it's kind of pricey. It's like $3 for 15 minutes and then a couple cents after that. So, I'm not too sure how much it's gonna cost me to do this ride. A lot more than me using my regular bike. <laughs> Cause that's free. about 30 degrees today and it honestly doesn't feel too bad when the wind's not blowing but right now it's blowing a little bit and you might hear it in the mic so this is flat bush up here which cuts right into uh, the Manhattan Bridge I said we were going to do Brooklyn Bridge, though. I would blast through this intersection, but as you can see, it's not the easiest. You can do it and be not so safe, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I'd recommend following the local laws road. Local road laws. Let's see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up on this snow here on the curb. It's a lot of snow. I can try. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I just kind of blasted right through it. So they obviously plow this whole area around. Nice and clean. Look at this bike. Does he know his fork's on backwards? I don't think he cares that his fork is on backwards. That's that negative rake for all you bike folk out there. He's running negative rake on that, uh, <laughs> on that uh, mountain bike, which is, it must be for getting that quick twitchy feeling uh, kind of handling that he wants. All right, we're gonna roll through this. Oh yeah, we're gonna roll through this too. Oh yeah. Look at how fucking solid these bikes are. They just romp over everything. So this whole area right here, there's a college here called Brooklyn Tech. And uh, up in front of me, you can see the Manhattan Bridge that dumps into Brooklyn here. It's blue and white. If you're on the Manhattan side, it goes over Chinatown when you're coming in. It's 
pretty sweet. We're just gonna take it. Here's the entrance to the Brooklyn Bridge here. And the bike lane is actually here on the sidewalk, which is kind of strange. Pushes you around, so we'll jump on that. And there's always a cop over here at the bike, or at the bike entrance for some reason. I'm not sure why. Could have just sent it and made it in there. Doesn't look like it today though. I see a little hole, I guess. We can go in right here. Not too bad. You gotta take advantage of those cars. When you see that Florida plate, you know you're, they're from out of state. <laughs> it's either use caution or take advantage. This here is the entrance to the Brooklyn Bridge. And as you can see, it looks a lot different than it usually does. They just plow the snow. Seems that they plow it up and over onto the roadway and then they push it off of the bike path eventually. I'm really curious to see what the city looks like though. Normally the city, when we get big snows, Manhattan rather, they clean it up pretty quick, you know? This is the worst bridge to ride across, but hopefully the weather has held some tourists or people back from crossing it today on foot. There's a military helicopter flying overhead right there. So this is the entrance there. You can see uh, Lower Manhattan. I wish I could be as good as a tour guide as uh, Cooper Ray, but I'm nowhere near his skills. Wow, this thing doesn't have gears. It just has two bells. You can hit them with the left and the right bell, like bong bong. There's no gears on this thing. I thought these things were pedal assist with a gear, but there's no gears. Maybe they changed it. It's interesting. So this is the elevated pedestrian and bike path. And this here on the right is actually the bike path. And the left side's for pedestrians. So we're gonna see what kind of normal chaos we get into. We're not really in a hurry, so it's better not to be too rude. You just gotta hear. A lot of these people don't have no idea that this is the bike side on the right. I don't really get angry. I'll just try to find my lane and slip through. This is a really good view of the city here. If you were on Discord earlier, Matthew B was talking about it. Shout out to Mr. Matthew B. Some of these people are wearing headphones so they don't even know when you're ringing the bell anyways. But yeah, look at this view. It's unbeatable, right? So there, there's plans to put a bike lane here on this right side where the traffic is on the bottom. So that'll be interesting. And then they'll just keep this top portion for pedestrians, which I think is a great idea. Here we go. A 
quick descent into the city. Whee! Fucking bike side, bruh. People just want to walk on the right because that's what we do. We, we, we stay to the right. This is a really cool way to uh, enter the city in my opinion. Downtown Brooklyn, straight into downtown uh, Manhattan. I just think it's, I don't know. It's a good way to do it. Good, it feels good, it looks good. Uh, we got Pace University right here on the left, as well as the Manhattan Courthouse, federal buildings, the police station, everything's over here. All the, all the law stuff, all the, <laughs> all the bad boy stuff is over here. Traffic's got a red light. Let's see how long my green light will last for. It's still on. Woo! All right, like I said, we're gonna take a left here on Chambers. Not get hit by this car though. And uh, then we're gonna take a left on Broadway. We could have went left up there, but I wanna get right on the Broadway right away and ride this little piece of it. Just riding along, you know? Just riding along. So we're gonna take a left here. This is Broadway. Seen this, you've seen this street millions of times if you've been following the channel for a while. This is just something I like to ride. It has a nice flow, it has a nice density. Uh, it's scenic as hell. It's got a nice canyon effect. Whoa, those pigeons came close to my face. We got steam coming from under the tunnels. It's got everything, you know? Oh, I don't wanna be stuck behind this guy with the pizza rack on his bike. Yeah, let's get in front of this guy. That pizza rack. So the bike lane, they added to Broadway recently. I'm excited to see what it looks like right now under these conditions. Not too bad, but you got your usual people waiting in the lane. Oh, they saw me, that was cool. They moved. Look at this guy. What you doing, dude? What you doing? So now there's construction here, apparently. Let's get back in there. It actually looks it looks like they took care of the snow a lot better than uh, the other borough, Brooklyn. So that's typical of what happens. Like I was saying earlier, usually the snow gets cleaned up here in the city a lot faster than it does in other boroughs. I think because of the heat and the density of people and traffic, they clean it up quick. 
Maybe it melts off quick, I don't know. And then you got the bike lane that just stops for FedEx trucks, so you gotta cut back in. Cause you know, those guys gotta deliver their packages. Gotta get that, gotta get that AliExpress package, that carbon bike you ordered. Your eBay purchase of your used Philwood hubs and your MASH SF purchases for your swag. Come on, car. You're killing my vibe here, buddy. That's an angry, angry dog. Alright, so we're rolling on down to Battery Park. This is Battery Park right here. I'm not actually going to hit it, I'm just pointing it out. That bus just cut off the view for Battery Park, so I'm not really going to see much. It's right here to the left. We're at the very, very bottom tip of, uh, oh, this is where I'm going right, of Manhattan. So now we're going to ride north. This will turn into church, which will eventually turn into 6th Avenue. You got World Trade, Freedom Tower, I mean, over here, and all the new construction. Also, the uh, the tunnel that goes into Brooklyn pops out right there. Trinity Place is over here. Stock Exchange. We rode by earlier, but there's a little alley right here. Exchange Alley, that's kind of cool. We got somebody bleeping me. Come on. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. This is Trinity Church on Wall Street. I think the old actual stock exchange used to be right there. Cooper told me something about that. I don't know the full story. Someone please correct me. But I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm now just regurgitating information I heard from Cooper at one point. Can I fit in? Get in where I fit in? I got in. Clean. I made a clean breakaway. Look at all the snow in the cop car. Tell that, that car ain't moving, huh? It's just staying put. It's actually a really nice day today. Really nice day for a bike ride. So here to the left, you can see all that there is to see. I wonder if anyone's ever got a sketch on an e-bike. And how does it feel to blast through NYPD traffic cops like that on an e-bike? Feels good, man. Feels good. Bomb. Streets are dead, eh? That, that COVID lifestyle. Do you think this cop's gonna pull me over? Nope. They just, they just gave me the ah. Ooh, look at this beautiful reflected light. There's that Jenga building ahead, reflecting light back down on the street. 
pretty nice, pretty nice. Might be a little overexposed. We'll have to find out later. 28, someone's turning 28. Nice. So the bike lanes here on the right, but there's also bus stops. So I, I always don't know where to ride. I try to ride over here, but I don't want to get cut off by the bus or the fire truck. Oh, he's going right. Is he going to see me? I think he saw me. Nice. Just drafting a bus, dude, all the way up. I gotta get back in the bike lane. Feels like that battery on this bike is dead or dying. It's not really, it's not really helping me pedal anymore. It might be time to exchange this city bike for a new one. I forgot to mention that we'll probably have to do that. I can give you guys a, a total cost analysis of what it cost me to do this ride. I'll insert it into the description of the video, how much I was charged in total from start to finish. So now we're popping on the 6th Ave. Feels like it's still working. That's good. And this right here is Canal, which dumps out right from the Manhattan Bridge. So it's major traffic. It basically goes from Manhattan Bridge to the uh, Holland Tunnel. There's a lot of traffic on this street. People just trying to go from Jersey uh, to Brooklyn or other parts of Brooklyn, usually. They're just trying to get the hell. They gotta pass through Manhattan to get into Jersey, so. Canal has heavy traffic. It's also a fun one to ride. <clears throat> Let's see. These streets are looking clean and paved. Not too bad. This building right here is really cool. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Somebody, please tell me. Tell me what that's called. You knew I was gonna get over two, Van. Yep. Thank you, buddy. Hey, buddy. Thank you. I really do feel like my battery is dying on this thing super early. Be on the lookout for a city bike um, docking station. We need one. We need one stat. I doubt there's gonna be one right on this street, but there'll be one close by. I might have to use my phone to find one. So it's all paid for or purchased by Lyft. They own the city bikes here. They also own them in San Francisco as well. I think they're called uh, Bay Ride, Bay Share, or something like that. Same thing. They used to have jump bikes there too, which I thought jump bikes were awesome. New York had jump bikes for a little bit. I think they might still have them in Staten Island in the Bronx. They never really made it over here. I thought they were cool because you didn't need a dock at all. You could just, you could just go. 
and you could lock it up. It has a lock built in and you can lock it up wherever you want. Don't come over here, homie. Look at this guy in the back of the truck. Hold on. Look at this shit. Hell yeah. Maybe I can hold on. <laughs> I probably could hold on to that truck. That guy's just hanging out in the back. It's a lot of uh, a lot of trash in there, man. Have a good one. <laughs> hey, buddy. Here's a good van to sketch. I'm gonna get smashed by this armored truck. I gotta get over. I gotta get over. Let me over, buddy. Can't go left there. Ah, right, you can go left there. So, at the next one. The guy in the back of the truck was super chill. I should have pulled out the phone and filmed that. Whoops. That's all right. All these lights are super slow to pop off in this area because it's considered West Village. So there's a lot of people who live out here. So I think they made the lights timing way slower to change from red to green. And so there's a window at which when my light turns red, their light doesn't turn green yet. So you have a little bit of a leeway. Um, and you guys might not see, but I'm actually turning my head and looking. I'm not just blindly going. Take your left. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. All right. This bike is crazy because although it has a consistent speed of 15 miles an hour, which is easy to maintain with low effort, if I try to pedal the bike faster, it won't, it like pushes back on me heavily. So it's actually, the harder I try to go faster, the more it slows me down. So it's better to just flow with it, just kind of like how you ride in traffic. Don't sprint and hit your brakes, sprint, hit your brakes, but find a nice pace and go with it. Ride the wave, man. Ride the wave, man. Whee! Even if there is no wave, sometimes the wave is there's no wave. You gotta watch out here people walking in the, into the bike lane. <clears throat> Sixth Street gets a little, a little hairy up here as far as pedestrians go. coming in here. He is coming in here. See what I mean? I just step out. I just cross the street too, but at least I look. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it.
Now we're on 14th. I got tired of 6th Street. I also didn't want to wait for that light. So if I know eventually I'm trying to wiggle on over to either 5th Avenue or 2nd Avenue to ride south. An easy way to do it is wiggle. You know what I mean? If the light turns red, then take your right. If it stays green, keep going straight. That way you're not waiting at the light. It's common sense stuff, but in case anyone didn't know. Oh, this is 23rd, not fucking 14th. I don't even know where I'm at. All right, so we don't have anywhere to go other than here. Let me just pedal through. What is this bus doing? Oh, it's taking a left. Nice. Nice. I like it, I like it. Let's take a left on Madison. That'll be fun. Madison's a cool street that doesn't get enough love by me pedaling and rambling on about it. Rambling. Right up over here, you'll see uh, the Chrysler building. It's going to be two blocks to the right. It's actually on, I don't actually know the street number. I'm not a I'm not a messenger, although it does interest, in, interest me, these things. But I do know it's on Lexington and something, which is two blocks over to the right, to the east. Maybe it's like in the 30s? I don't know. If I see it, I'll point it out. Nothing yet. This thing be rattling, huh? The basket and fender on this bike. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle. <coughs> We're behind the wave, so the lights have turned red on us. A lot of these streets are one ways, but you got to make sure the major, the major uh, east and west streets uh -oh, turn uh, two ways. I just barely got in, y'all. I might not make this one either. Let me see if I can get in. Oh, just barely. Hurt. Hurt. Yeah, boy. We're living. Here's an east to west. So, like I said. is two ways. I hear the motor struggling to get up this little baby bump of a hill. It's easier than uh, pedaling it, I guess. I forgot to start my Strava. I can't share the route today. Sorry about that. Totally just remembered that I didn't turn it on. It's not really a complicated route anyways. That's, that there is the end of the, uh, the battery on the GoPro, so. All right, we're back. I had to swap out the battery. As I was saying, before the GoPro rudely died on me, I wanted to do a vibe check. Let you guys know, my hands are totally warm, but my toes are starting to feel cold. So, 30 degrees. Looks like I should have put some uh, 
double socks and maybe a plastic bag between uh, the two pairs of socks just on the toes would help. I'm wearing flat, I'm wearing sneakers, but they're mountain bike, they're like mid, mid top shoes and they're usually pretty warm. But uh, I don't know. It's just the front of the shoe, so. If I was to protect my feet, that's probably what I would do. Is uh, put a plastic bag just over the toes, uh, over the sock in the shoe, or a double sock with the plastic bag in between is a really good move. Some people just do double sock, but my shoes, I mean, I have room in these shoes. I'm being very passive right now. Come on, buddy, get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you going left, too? Or are you going straight? Just hella slow. Oh, he's going straight. I should have been on the other lane. Could have grabbed that sketch, boy. Skitchies! Fuck this guy. <laughs> he's lost. He didn't even know where he was supposed to turn there. Oh, what in this? What is this on the East 47? They're building some kind of new structure. Tall boy. Check the cars. Flow right through. Find a hole. Don't break too early. Find the pedestrian hole right here. Slow, slow, slowly go where no man has gone before. No city bike has gone before. Yo, we got construction, bruh. Look at it. Look at them go. Look at them go. They're jackhammering and shoveling and steam is flowing. <laughs> I should have brought my camera with me today. You gotta watch out for these Teslas. They don't make a sound. I got a ride from uh, the last JRA in one of these Lincoln MKTs, all wheel drives. Super nice. This guy doesn't know where he's going. He's stopping, pulling out early, pulling out late. We're gonna go into the bottom of uh, Central Park just to see what it looks like with snow. And then uh, we're gonna start riding south. We're actually gonna cut back over. I changed my mind. Let's see what see what Central Park looks like with the snow. Might be fun on the bike, the city bike, to ride through it. It's hard to tell where the uh, where the rocks and stuff is going to be, though. I think so. It might be hard to find out, see where the trail actually is and where rocks are. But we'll just take it easy, and I'll bring you along with me. So we're going to go left here on 57, and I'll cut into the park here on the bottom. We can we can stop by, and say hello to the old Trump Tower. Oh, Trumpity Trump. It is, it dropped like 30 degrees. Woo, at least 30 degrees. It's cold. It really is. Actually, let's go this way. Let's see. Let's Salmon. Salmon. 
Let's do a little salmon. A little salmon. The uh, underground Apple store here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't know why they're making, uh, there's talks of them making a, an EV, an Apple car. They need to make an Apple bike, dude. They're missing the mark, huh? What are they thinking? <laughs> they could be selling Apple bikes. So here we go. This is this is quite a little quite a snowy sight. Get a ride in a horse carriage there. Snow everywhere in here. Feels like Home Alone, dude. <laughs> Home Alone 2. Woo, my toes are cold. Here we go. We're gonna pull in here. Hopefully this NYPD person doesn't fuck with me. They're in a little shopping cart, so they could follow me. Possibly. Nope. Look at this. Amazing. If only we can mute the sound of the e-bike or if you guys would like you can mute my voice <laughs> and I'll shut the fuck up. Woo. He started singing when I looked at his Venmo card. Maybe it was the coincidence. Damn. We got to uh, we got to look at the octopus snow snow puss. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, let's test it out. Not too bad. Although I wish I had gears. <laughs> it's hard to tell. 
if it's gonna be easy or hard to pedal up a hill, especially with snow on it. You guys don't find it weird that they put shoes on horses? I think it's weird. They nail in these little nails, these little metal things on the bottom of hoofs. Oh, there's a way in, right in there. Should have tried that out. Oh, there's a little flat spot over here. We'll ride through the snow over here and see what we can get into. open right here. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. It says no dogs, but it doesn't say no bikes. Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Oh, it works. It works. It's getting harder. It's getting harder. Oh no, oh no. Ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Right here on the walking path. <sighs> nice. <laughs> I want to lower the seat a little bit. Oh, we're good. Woo! <laughs> Yo! Sorry about all the clicking. This bike isn't the quietest. Neither am I. <laughs> yes. Send it. Oh! I'm gonna lower the seat. The seat's too high. I'm getting bopped around. Someone lost an orange. Here we go. Back on it. <laughs> it's easy. It's deep on both sides. There we go. out of here. <laughs> I was pretty sick. <sighs> that was worth it. That was worth all the trouble. I knock all the snow off my shoes now. That was awesome.
Now that my nose is dripping, let me blow it out. So good, that was fun. That was good. <laughs> uh, sweet. All right, now we're going to head back down. to where we started. Let's take 5th Ave back down. Hopefully the battery will last until we get to Brooklyn. We'll have to find out. If it does die, that's what happened. We lost the battery, so... That says no right turns, bro. No right turns. Beautiful, beautiful Fifth Ave. Looking lovely. Looking nice. Tower still has guards and police presence. It's crazy. I wonder how long the Trump Tower is going to have to have NYPD posted outside of it. Uh oh. That's my alarm. Give me a second. That means I got to check my phone. I can't get enough of the steam, dude. I learned about what the steam's all about. It's an old way to heat buildings. Back in the day. It's crazy. Con Edison is in charge of it and the piping for it is super old. And occasionally they blow up. So when you see the steam pouring out of the ground like that, it's because the pipes underground are leaking and they set them up to actually release pressure. It's more complicated than that, but that's kind of the gist of the whole thing. Oh, you want to see a good shot of the rock? Peep it. Right here. See? Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Skirt. Oh, oh, 
Oh, what's this? We get some honking. We got some protesting, some car protests. Stop the WOP on. Are they going? No, they're just going slow. No, he's going right. Cool, he's taking a right with his hazards on. <laughs> I can't tell if you're going right when you got your hazards on, buddy. Stop turning rights with your hazards on. I'm gonna start protesting that. I don't know what that was about. I missed it. It was a six car protest. I was with them. Ah, man. Dude, my dude on the scooter is savage. He's going for it. My toes are cold. Here's the public library. I wonder if it's uh, open. Again, I don't think so. It's all closed up. Lights are on. Someone's in there in the Manhattan Library, the main library. That's an e-bike right there. Tell me about the foot hang, sir. Excuse me. What is this car doing? What you doing? You want to see uh, Empire State Building now? Maybe I'll get stopped at the light. I will. This is fucking SUV playing squeeze play on me. Get me out of here, bro. Let me show you this now. I'm going to tilt the camera up. Look over up to your right there. Bam. You see it? Oh, you see it. That's a King Kong climb, climb that back in the day. And he ain't got shit on me. Don't go right, don't go right, thank you. We got, we got some traffic coming up here, y'all. Heavy traffic happening. Heavy traffic flow. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. What's this bus doing? Bruh. Oh shit. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, we made it. That was a busted ass line I just took. Slow-mo line. 
That guy just blew a kiss at me in the bus. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he got stuck at the light, man. No more blowing kisses 2020, dude. Hashtag that. Brakes are rubbing on this bike. <laughs> We're gonna take fifth all the way down to Washington Square Park, your favorite place to catch a bus session. And we got that green wave working with us. Ooh, stroller lane. Oh, never mind. This is the very bottom of 5th Ave. It goes no further. Runs right in. Right into uh, Washington Square Park. We lost the wave. We lost the green wave. We also lost the power on this e-bike. Doesn't feel like it's got any power left. We're gonna have to dock it and end the video soon. So I do appreciate y'all for tuning in, especially those of you who are still here from the beginning of the video. You're the true heroes. But until the next one, be well, ride safe, and give your try riding a different bike. Give it a try. It can be pretty fun. Even if you don't own the bike, like in this case. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.